This one's for Baylor, God is faithful to every generation God bless you on the mighty name of Jesus. This is Brother Alan Thomas with SermonsOverBeats.com. We're in another week of our meal prayer videos. I thank y'all for tuning in and subscribing and checking it out. Now this week off the album I Am The Found, this is the fourth track called Nineveh, produced by RJ of Full Range. Shout out to my bro for the fire beat. And the story that inspired this one is coming out of Jonah chapter 3. So if you got your Bible, follow with me. It's going to be the entire chapter, verse 1 through 10. And we got a special little video to follow it behind the inspiration. If you ain't got the album yet, I am the found now available anywhere online. And we got the physical copy here as well. There's also a Chopped and Drew version, the slow version by DJ Disciple Drew. So y'all go check that out one time. So here we are in Jonah chapter 3, verse 1. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time. Somebody say it out loud the second time. He didn't get it the first time. Sometimes we got to get knocked on our head a few times because we got that pride in us, right? It's still heavy in our hearts. So then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time. I had to repeat it for y'all. Saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. This is God speaking. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, three days journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city going a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least of them. It's a little reverse in our culture, right? Usually starts with the least and then goes to the greatest. Interesting how God works in this situation. Verse 6, The word reached the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes and he issued a proclamation and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles let neither man nor beast herd nor flock taste anything let them not feed or drink water but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and let them call out mightily to God let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands who knows God may turn and relent and turn from his fierce anger so that we may not perish. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he had said he would do to them and he did not do it. Oh, we. That's a lot in those 10 verses. If you need a little backstory on why God said he was going to destroy and bring disaster to Nineveh, you need to check out chapters 1 and 2. So let's go ahead and do a little backtracking here. So after God gave the message to Jonah, he finally went through obeying the second time. The Bible says it was an exceedingly great city to God. Nineveh was. It was three days to get across it, right? Well, the Bible says as Jonah began to go into the city, he only went one day's journey. He didn't even go the full length. If you do the math, that's about 33% into the city. A third of the way into the city and he called out and it impacted the entire city from the king and the greatest of them all the way to the least of them. And so look in verse six where it says the word reached the king and how he arose from his throne. He got up from where he was seated. He removed his robe. Now that may not seem very important to you, but in those times, the robe is a sign of honor, a sign of authority, a sign of power. So he took off his power. He took off his authority. He humbled himself and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes. So the way that this word came to me was actually directly through a family member. So prior to my wife and I moving to Texas at the beginning of this year, in California, we were at a memorial service for a family member's passing, unfortunately. But God uses all things for our good and for his glory and honor, amen. And so I was sitting down at the table with some of the kids just joking around and our little niece Bela comes up and she sits down and tells me a little story about Jonah and asks me if I know the story of Jonah because she's been reading it. She knows about it. And she went down and broke down this entire chapter for me, word for word, almost exactly what you just heard. And it really touched my heart and began to talk a little bit about humility and about um, seeking the Lord and, and placing the sackcloth and ashes on us. And I began to speak to her about spiritually what that meant. And she was asking a few questions here and there. And this little girl got to be about six, seven, eight years old at the time. And God used her to Im impact me and to bless me and to challenge me as she was talking to me and I was able to minister to her as well. The Holy Spirit was ministering to me. And so a few weeks down the line, I'm listening to a few beats and I heard the Lord say Nineveh. And God impressed this story upon me one more time. 
Diamond. And so this song is dedicated to Bela. Shout out to you, baby girl, we love you. This song right here, the scripture right here, I pray that it blesses you and encourages you during this time that we're in, where this pandemic, many think that the, the coronavirus and the lockdown and everything created the fear. It just revealed where the fear is at. We reverence the world, we reverence the government, we listen to them more than we fear God, right? The Bible says in Chronicles, if we would just humble ourselves, Think about that. That's what happened in Jonah. They humbled themselves. The book of Jonah, the king humbled themselves, issued a decree that the entire land would humble themselves and God may relent from the disaster he promised, which he ended up doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If we would just do that, the Bible says if we turn from our wicked ways, this was included in that same decree that he would heal our land. Amen. And our land does need a healing from the coronavirus, from all sickness. But most importantly, from sin, and it starts within. So if you're thinking about sharing this message with somebody, I encourage you first, take those lenses and search deep within. Speak the message of repentance towards yourself. Speak the message that I need to repent. I need to turn from my wicked ways. And I'm not talking at y'all right now. I'm talking at me, believe it or not, even with this camera in front of me, right? I'm still talking at me. I need to repent. I need to turn from my wicked ways daily sometimes moment to moment, right? So I just want to encourage and lift you guys up and pray a word of blessing and encouragement over you guys. Father, right now, for every viewer and listener, my God, I ask that you would help them, give them the strength, Father God, to look inward, God, to sit in spiritual humility before you, God, to remove themselves, God, from all the prideful and selfish things that this world points us to, God, even social media, God, and the different things, God, that God can consume our flesh and cause us to not be concerned with what is truly going on in our lives and in this world, God. And how that if we would just turn from our wickedness, God, turn from our selfishness and turn from our pride, mighty God, that you would heal us, God. So I pray, God, your people would repent, God. I myself repent right now, Father God, before you and ask for your forgiveness of any and all sins that I have committed, God, in my heart, in my speech, God, in my thought process, God, and even in my actions, God. I pray that you would forgive me. I pray that you would forgive every viewer, every listener for the same thing, God, and you would help them, God, as they turn inward and clean the inside of the cup as Jesus said God and then the outside may be clean God and ready for good use God first we need to clean the inside though Father God it's no good with a, a dirty inside of the cup to fill it again so Father God I just pray that you bless them help them God use them to proclaim the message of your gospel repent for the kingdom of God is at hand in Jesus name I thank you mighty God Amen. I thank y'all again for tuning in. This is just track number four. Go ahead and check it out. Share it with somebody. If y'all digging it, man, drop some prayer requests below and some comments. We went ahead and actually included a surprise video of Bela's reaction when she first heard this song. So I pray that this blesses you guys. It was a total surprise because she had no idea that we had recorded the song in honor of her. So God bless you. Love you, Bela. Uncle Alan? This one's for Baylor. God is faithful to every generation. Nineveh, feel like I'm in Nineveh. With a message to come from the <laughs> What happened? The cry of evil has not... What happened? He said my name. He said this one's for Bela. He brought me out of that miry clay. Look around at all the giants been slain. Finding my strength as I'm climbing by faith. I believe that the true light is guiding the way.